Hi there, and today I've got a great challenge for you. I want you to think about some of the cool scientific stuff that we can do with some household items in the kitchen, and we're gonna show you one that's really easy to do and kind of get your brain a thinking. You know, a lot of us aren't in school right now, and sometimes we, you know, just, we just wanna play video games or just veg out on the couch. Uh, but every now and then, right, we should do something that sparks our creative thinking and our logical and uh, scientific mind. So we're going to do that today. This is really simple. All you need, this is called sink or float, all right? This is kind of like a game. So I've got uh, three uh, glasses of water, and they are all measured to 12 ounces. Now, the key part of this is that they all have to be the same measurement, right? The same amount of water. So I'm gonna have one here that's just water, and then I'm gonna have one here, I'm gonna have water, and I'm gonna add four tablespoons of salt. And then I'm gonna have this one where I'm gonna add four tablespoons of sugar. All right, so I'm adding my salt. I added the four tablespoons of salt. And now I'm going to stir and stir until the water becomes clear or I cannot see any salt on the bottom of the cup when I stop stirring. So really important to make sure all the salt gets what's called dissolved into the water. All right, that looks good. When I stop stirring and I don't, I don't see anything floating to the bottom, I know that I'm done. All right, so now on to my sugar. All right, again, I'm gonna stir and stir until I don't see any of the sugar in the water anymore, or when I stop stirring, I don't see any of the sugar fall to the bottom of the cup. Hmm. All right, so it looks like my salt and my sugar have been dissolved. And so I can actually see there's a difference there, isn't there, right? My water and sugar is clear, but my salt and water is cloudy. And then of course my regular water is clear. All right, so now our test is going to be what happens if I take an egg and I put it into these containers. What do you think is gonna happen? Do you think the egg is going to sink or do you think it's gonna float? So let's start with the first one, which is just plain water. I'm gonna take this egg and I'm going to drop, I'm gonna gently put it into the water Right? And I'm going to see what's going to happen. But before I do so, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think that this egg is going to float? Or do you think it's going to sink? All right. And this is your final time? All right. Here we go. It's in. And if you guessed that it was going to sink, you were right our egg sunk to the bottom of our container that just has water. So now let's try the next one, our salt. All right, what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think this egg is going to sink or do you think it's gonna float when we put it into our second container with water and salt? All right, here's your chance. You gotta give your answer, you can't change your answer. You ready? All right, here it goes. Look at that. That egg is floating. Look at how that egg is on the bottom and this egg is floating, not touching the bottom. All right, so our next and last one is going to be, this egg is gonna go into our water with sugar. What do you think is gonna happen? All right, so remember, the first one was just water and it sunk. The second one had water and salt. It floated. So what do you think is gonna happen this time with water and sugar? All right, here we go. 
You can't change your answer, so give your answer. What do you think is going to happen? All right, here it goes. Interesting. Interesting. If you can see, that egg is doing something a little unique that's different than what was in the water. The egg is kind of up and down. So it's kind of floating, but not all the way to the top. And in our salt water, it's hard to see our egg. So he's, that one is just above the water line. And then with our just the water, it's all the way down on the bottom, clearly on the bottom. So that was our experiment for today of sink or float. Really simple to do. All you need is water, salt, sugar, and egg, uh, and three eggs. Make sure that the water is the same measurement for all three of them, right? You want to make sure you do that. Uh, and then experiment with that. See what happens if you add more salt, if you add more sugar. What's going to happen then? Only you can find out by doing it at home. All right, so while we're out of school and why we've got this time on our hands, why not do some cool scientific experiments? That way we're going to keep our brain mentally awake. And that's really important to stay mentally awake so that we can keep functioning and we don't lose all that knowledge and all that time that we spent in school. We don't want that to go out the window. We want to retain that knowledge and we want to keep our brain functioning on a, on a good level. All right, so that's my challenge to you today. Uh, do the sinker uh, float experiment uh, and then test out some other things. What else might you be able to put into uh, these cups other than an egg to see if it floats or sinks?